Ramadurahim. So today I will talk about the time scaling of signals. So time scaling is basically the compression or expans expansion of a signal in time. For example, we if we have a greater than zero, and if x of t is the original signal, then x of t divided by a is the expanded or the slowed down signal. Fine. So if a is greater than zero, a is some positive. Uh, value uh, even in is it should be made greater than one. Fine. So if a is greater than one and x of t is the original signal, then x t divided by a is the expanded or the slowed down signal. Fine. And x a of t, in which the scalar a is multiplied by t, is the compressed or the hurried forward signal. Fine. You can find this example through a audio top uh, tape. If x of t is an audio tape recording, then x of t by two represents same audio tape being expanded in time. So it is slowed down. So it slows down and plays with half the speed. Whereas x uh, two of t represents same audio tape being compressed in time. So it plays at type this uh, at twice the speed. So to write this code in MATLAB. We can define t. First, I will define t, which is 0.01 till 2 pi. Fine. So I have defined uh, the row matrix for time. Then I will define a function. Let me name it as y1. So y1 is the sine of t. Simple function. Uh, I will also define another function, which is y2. Y2. Yeah. Or let me define it as y. I will define it as y1. Y1 is sine 2 of t. So, so 2 is being multiplied by t in the argument, which means that it is a compressed signal. So, I will write the here compressed signal. Compressed or hurried forward signal. And y2 of t is equal to sine of T divided by t. Okay, so this is the expanded signal. So now we will go on and plot these. I will again use the subplot command uh, to plot three signals. I will uh, use three cross one matrix, and in the first position I will plot the original signal. So I will simply say plot t and y. On x-axis we have t, on y-axis we have y. I will give it a title, which is original signal. So now we'll run it. Hopefully, it will be run. So there we go. We now have the original signal. Fine. Now, if we plot the compressed version of the signal, I have already defined the compressed function. So I can simply say subplot, give it a position two, and then say let's plot this compressed signal. X-axis is t, y-axis is y1. So I will write here plotting compressed. Yeah, or I can give it a title. A title will be better. Better compressed signal. Fine. So it's. Compressed by two times, so I will plot it. Hopefully, we will find a compressed signal. So if we can have a look, this signal, uh, this signal runs twice in the same period, from zero to about six point something, it completes its one time period. Whereas in the same time, it completes its two time periods. So this is the compressed signal, or the hurried forward signal, the second graph. Now I will go go on and plot the expanded version. Give it a sub plot z cross one matrix at position three. I am going to plot the expanded signal, at the slowed down signal. So I will go on and I will plot. So I have plot there. I will give it a title. Which is the expanded signal. So I will run this. 
now we have three signal that the, the time period of this uh, if, if you can have a look that this signal has been compressed twice so from 0 to 6.25 where where it completes its it's, it's one uh, which is one time period this thing completes its two time period fine and this and this signal expanded signal only completes its half time period so this signal has been uh, expanded by a factor of two this signal has been compressed by a factor of two and this is the original signal thank you